Okay, today I'm going to explain the syllabus of LabVIEW Programming Basics. It is a, a open elective. You can select any one of the lab. The for the LabVIEW Programming Basic, uh, the course code is twenty one EC three eight four. So here you have eight VI programs here to realize, and uh, four demonstration experiments are there. So today we are going to do one by one. So let me start with the first experiment, which is a basic arithmetic operation. So we are going to perform arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division using LabVIEW tool. First, uh, in your desktop, there is a LabVIEW uh, tools icon will be there. You have to open the tool by double clicking. So once you open, you will get uh, this window. So click on create project. Then select blank VI. So VI stands for virtual instruments. So we have to create virtual uh, blank uh, instrument. Uh, so you're going to get two panels. Okay. First one is actually gray color. You can see the grid, square grid, uh, grids are appearing here. It is actually coming in the front. And you can see here it is a front panel. And one more is there, which is back side, which is actually a plain white color. So it is called as block diagram panel. By default, front panel will come in the begin uh, in the front and our block diagram will come in the behind. So you have to press Control T. It will align parallelly like this. So now our aim is to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So we have to go for right click in the front panel, click on numeric control. So numeric controls are inputs where you can have control so that you can using this up and down, you can increase or decrease the values. So it is a control. You can control the value by clicking this. And to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, and all, we require minimum two. So one more numeric control you have to add. So before that, I will re rename this. Double click on that the title uh, or label, and you type here number one. Okay. So we need to add two numbers now. I need one more numeric. Control. So again, in the uh, here only, automatically it is dark. It's already selected, so you can rename there only as number two. This is number one, and second input is number two. So this is also numeric control. So you can control the values. So I'll give. Six and two here. So same once I place numeric controls in the front panel, simultaneously uh, the blocks are appearing in a black diagram panel also. Okay. And these two are the inputs. Numeric controls are the inputs. So numeric indicators are the outputs. So indicator don't have any control. You cannot increase or decrease. So you can see right click in the front panel numeric. Then select numeric indicator. Select it, uh, we named as sum, which will indicate the sum of two numbers, which is going to perform addition of uh, numbers. Okay. Which is now going to perform addition operation. So, second, see in the numeric indicators, there is no control. Okay. Only just will indicate it's like an output device. Okay. So, it's like merely right click. Go to numeric, numeric indicator, place it, and here it is going to do subtraction. Subtraction, or you can write difference. Okay, so you can also observe here also the same blocks are coming here. So, right click numeric, numeric indicator, 
So next is multiplication operation. You can write product and fourth one is division operation. So what we did in the front panel, two numeric controls are placed and renamed it as number one and number two. Four numeric indicators are placed and named it as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So next, in order to this is just the input device and output device. So still it is not uh, given instruction to do addition or multiplication all. So for that you have to go to black diagram. In the black diagram panel on the right side, right click, go to numeric, there you click add block, right click numeric, subtract, right click numeric, multiply, right click numeric, divide. Now we need to add two numbers. So all these four blocks need to connect to number one and number two. So if you go near here, you can see three buttons. So orange color buttons are appearing here. So click on first button. And if you want to come down, click there and come down. Again, click and go left. Okay. So next second input second block uh, subtraction also i am going to connect here click here and you can connect if it is not connected you will get like this break color so you can delete this right click and select this and press delete button so again you have to connect. If its connection is not there, it will come like that. Okay. I am connecting all the first inputs. Okay. All the blocks are having three, uh, two, three terminal, two inputs and one output. First input of all I am connecting to here. The first inputs of all I connected here. Now one more inputs are there. So here for all the blocks, one more input is there now. So I will connect that one to come down. Go click and go left. Okay, now connect second one also here. Multiply block second input also second input and divide second input is also connected here. See the connection uh, add block multiply uh, subtract multiply and divide first is connected to okay next uh, we need to connect outputs so output of the sum block you connect to here subtract you connect here okay that's all so this is for running one time so you give some two values run we will get the output. So you can see input is 6 here 2. 6 plus 2 is coming as 8. 6 minus 2 is 4. Subtraction 6 into 2 is 12. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 is actually quotient. Then if you want to modify the values, you can change this. And once again run, we will get different. And second option is here run continuously. 
So if I click this, this uh, grid will disappear and you will get the plane like it's continuously running. So you can change. You can see now 8 plus 2 is 10, 8 minus 2 is 6, 8 into 2 is 16, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So that's why while connecting these blocks right side, all the first inputs are connected to the number 1, second inputs are connected to the number 2 and outputs are connected to the corresponding blocks. Now when you are running continuously, run continuously, then you can change here. See for different values, 8 plus 5 is 13, 8 minus 5 is 3, 8 5 is a 40. 8 divided by 5 is 1.6. So this is the first experiment. Uh, implementation of arithmetic operation, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division using LabVIEW.